everyone, Teresa here and welcome to my everyday. I hope you guys are all doing well. It is Friday and it has rained every single day here. So I don't know where everyone else is from, but if you are also experiencing the rain, I'm sorry and I feel your pain because it sucks. I cannot wait until it goes away. I know we need it, but it's May and we need the sunshine. So. I have been kind of busy, which is the only reason why the rain's actually been good. I've had a couple events get canceled because they've been rained out, which has given me a little bit more time. So I did make a trip into the Dollar Tree, so that means I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. So if you're interested to see what it is that I got, just stay tuned. So in the first bag, I have some things for Canada Day. And I have to say, as a fellow Canadian, I've been seeing a lot of the Dollar Tree haulers from the US hauling some really beautiful Memorial Day things. And I'm kind of jealous because I really like the American stuff as well. So we do have some Canada things and they are really, really nice as well. I just wish I kind of had a choice, I guess. Um, but I got these really nice Canada Day um, and Canada flag tattoos and I thought my kids would have a lot of fun with them um, for Canada Day and also just for any day because we're Canadian. I also got this really nice Canada sign. I just thought that it was super cute. I actually saw it the last time that I was in and didn't pick it up. And when I went back in this time, of course, it was the last one. And I have a problem when that happens. If I see something and I'm unsure about it and I go back and then there's only one left, I feel like there's a reason why there's one left and that means that I have to get it. So I thought this was super cute. I thought that I would hang it on the outside of my front door. And then just like the last sign, I saw this one the last time that I was in, but I didn't think that I needed it. And then I went back in and again, there was only one left and I had to get it. Um, we're celebrating a really important Canada Day this year. It is 150 years since Canada has been established. So I thought that I would get it. It is super pretty. And again, I will hang this on one of my doors. I have another repurchase. My son really likes these Disney Junior Mickey Mouse Clubhouse paper cups. You get 36 in a box and they're basically just like Dixie cups. I have absolutely no problem with them. I have filled a container in my bathroom and he uses them every day. I really like that they are pretty much completely paper. Well, they say paper cups. So they are pretty much completely paper and so I feel comfortable getting them because we can actually either recycle them or put them in our organics and feel okay about it's still paper waste but at least it's not going into the landfill so i got that for him and then i've seen these time and time again and i've never picked one up but it is a tablet sleeve so basically a container to put your ipad or your tablet and i have an eight inch tablet and sometimes i throw it in my bag and i don't actually have a case for it i know it's not heavy duty i do have a binder type case that i use for my tablet but it is a little big so it moves around in it because it's one of those that has a spot for your tablet and you can put like your pens and your calculators and things so i thought if i had this I could put my tablet in here, still put it in that binder case, and then it's a little bit more safe. I was super excited to find this Colonel's Salt and Vinegar Shaker. It's popcorn seasoning, and I just thought that was an awesome buy at the Dollar Tree. Um, I just love salt and vinegar. So does my son, and salt and vinegar popcorn is super delicious, and to be able to find this at the Dollar Tree, I just thought it was a super great deal. I also picked up one of these little photo albums. Um, I thought that I would give this as a Mother's Day gift. Um, I could put my kids' pictures in the front and then just fill up the album with some pictures in it. So that's why I picked up this one. I just loved this pattern. They had so many different ones. They had like flowers that looked like watercolor and a whole bunch of different ones, but I just really, really liked this pattern. So my Dollar Tree had more shirts when I went in. So I picked up this really comfy purple t-shirt. I almost didn't get it, but then when I looked at the label, it said Street Legal, which I've mentioned before on my channel is a relabeling. And so basically they have put Street Legal, the label over top of another label. The label underneath is Old Navy. So I thought to be able to get this for a buck at the Dollar Tree, even if I wear it to bed as pajamas. It's a great deal. It's really, really soft. I love this purple color, so I'm sure I'll wear it in the summer. But again, like I said, if I don't wear it on the go, I can wear it to clean my house, I can wear it to bed. 
you just can't beat the price so I got that and then I also picked up some golf shirts or polo shirts as you like to call them for my son he doesn't really need them but again to be able to find them at the Dollar Tree I got this really cute pink one and I haven't actually showed it to him yet so I'm not sure how he will um, like it or not like it he's six and he's got an opinion now about things and colors that he likes and not just because of pink just because the only colors he likes right now are blue and red so I did get this pink one I did have a reason they usually have anti-bullying day at school and they have to wear pink boys and girls everybody wears pink to unite for anti-bullying day so I thought I would get him this so at least he has a pink shirt that he can participate if he wishes to and if not I'm sure this would actually fit my daughter as well and and who cares if it's for boys or girls or whether or not it's pink again at the Dollar Tree a great deal also picked him up a black one I just thought even to go to church in the summertime um, you can't beat it for a buck so I got it I went down the organizational aisle and I found this little bin I'd never seen it before they had them in different colors but I really liked this green one it has a cute little handle and I actually have a little prize basket that I am putting together for a stag and doe. Someone has asked me to do that. Um, my business is mostly cleaning products um, and environmentally safe uh, cleaning cloths and things. So I thought that I would um, put together a basket and I just thought this was a nice little container to put it in. So that's why I got that. Something different that I found at the Dollar Tree this time, they had fishing hooks. And so I picked up some fishing hooks. My husband likes to fish. And so I picked up a few different ones for him. I thought that I would save them for Father's Day, but I thought it was great that they have all this Mother's Day stuff out. And I figure this is probably why they have brought out all of this fishing stuff for dads or for whoever. That one. And then they also had these bobbers. So I got those. So I was super excited to find that because that is something that I have not seen at my Dollar Tree before. I got this display easels. Um, they're two in a pack. They're from Special Moments Memories Collection and it says that they're perfect for place cards, photos, plaques, and small paintings. I thought that I would get this just because it's always good to have. Sometimes I have a picture frame that I don't want to put on the wall. It doesn't have one of the stand up pull out things. So I thought it would be good to have this. And also last time I hauled a different type of easel to put my tablet on and I thought this might also be good for that. So I thought you get two, it's a great deal. So that's why I got that. Okay, so the last bag, I got this really pretty box. I have a little gift to send out and I just love this little box. It just lifts up like this and I just love the pattern. There were a whole bunch of different patterns and colors. This one has the butterflies. They had some with like flowers and stuff, but I just thought this one was super pretty. I also got this really pretty little binder. It says make today amazing. And I thought it would be really cute as a little do it yourself planner. It has the two rings inside. So I picked up that. And to go with it, I picked up this my life in planner shopping list and sticker set. And it already has the holes for that particular little binder planner thing. This is from Greenbrier. I just thought it was super cute with the little shopping list and then with all of the little stickers. And then I also picked up this, also my life in a planner. Um, this one has 12 month inserts. And so that's what the one side looks like. It says monthly planner, fill in your own date, start your time, achieve your goals. Goal with, goal, a goal without a plan is just a wish. And so I'm not sure what all the other pages look like, but on the back it says notes and motivations and today is going to be a great day. So I got that and I thought that would look really good and work really well in that planner as well. And then I also got this also my life in a planner sticky tabs and pockets i just thought that would be really cute i know somebody who is putting together a planner and i thought they would really enjoy this so i actually got this for them and then i also found these sheet protectors they're like the little um just regular sheet protectors but in the smaller size 
and I got this binder to go with it. And so this one is actually a three ring binder. So this one is perfect for the sheet protectors. So I got the sheet protectors and the binder. My daughter has already eyed the binder and said that she wants it. So I might have to go back and get another one. But I also got the little tab dividers that also fit. So I thought that was a great find and a great buy. I was also excited to find this ink brand 10 scented colors retractable pen. I actually went in hoping to find this. This was the last one. They did have some at the checkout that were not in the packaging and they were just in a big tub and they were random colors, but they weren't the same as this and they felt very, very cheap and I was worried that they weren't going to be good at all. I'm not sure how well this is gonna be, but I thought my daughter would love it. She's already seen it, she does love it. So I guess I'm, it's a good thing that this is the one that I got. So I just thought that it was super cute, very nostalgic for me because I had one of these growing up. But like I said, it says that it's scented and the colors um, have corresponding scents and so they have cherry and orange and apple, watermelon, peach, banana, strawberry, grape, mango, and pineapple. I also picked up some Mother's Day cards. I won't be showing which ones I got just because unfortunately the people, well fortunately or unfortunately, the people that I got them for do watch my channel so I got these beautiful Mother's Day cards. They are absolutely wonderful to pick up at the Dollar Tree. They have like the nice raised print. If you go out there, I'm sure you'll find your own. So I got two of those. And then I had seen these before. These are the little drawers that everybody is hauling. Um, I had seen these before and I had left them behind. I just, they weren't what I thought they were when I saw everyone showing them on YouTube. I thought they were just really small. If you can see in my hand, they're just teeny tiny. And I just didn't have a use for them even though they are really, really cute. They pull out really nicely. They're just completely made of cardboard. They're basically a paper wrapped cardboard. But then I had a thought, I have a 10 year old daughter, she still plays with Barbies, she has a Barbie house, and I thought how cute as a little dresser for her Barbie house. So I picked up this pattern because it matches the Barbie colors in her Barbie house. She also really likes teal. So that's why I picked up that one. I thought I could get two and even, even hot glue them together and make a nice tall chest of drawers if she really likes this for her Barbie house, but I just thought that it was super cute as a little Barbie accessory. Speaking of my daughter, I also found these little Shopkins. These ones are pencil toppers, and so I was able to find this one with the cookie and the donut, and it comes with a little pencil as well. And then I also found the cheese and the lipstick also with the pencil, and they are also pencil toppers. She was super excited that I was able to find these, and again, at the Dollar Tree, you just can't beat the price. Also picked up these little pins. My daughter loves to collect pins. She puts them on her bag. So I got these, I just thought they were super cute. They had a whole bunch of different ones, but she really likes cats and rainbows, so I thought that was fitting for her. And then I also got this Jot Craft Punch. Again, I have a friend who is putting together a planner and I thought she would really like this. And I picked up some command hooks. I should say, and I probably will have a review coming up, a while back I hauled some of the Dollar Tree brand hooks, the self-adhesive hooks. I had bought them, I had tried them, I said that they were good, and I bought some more. Unfortunately, I take that back after a day or two they did fall down and every time I try to stick them back up, they are no good. So I am back to buying only command hooks. So I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. I also picked up some Rockets candy and for my American friends, I'm sure that you call this Smarties, but here in Canada, we call these Rockets. I actually am sending these out to a special person in the US. Um, just prove to them that they're called Rockets. This is what they're like. They're exactly the same as Smarties in the US, but we call them Rockets. And another Canadian treat, this is Cadbury's Sponge Toffee Crunchy. And this is a delicious, delicious chocolate bar. It has like a sponge toffee inside. I don't know what you guys call it. We call it sponge toffee, so I got that. And then the last thing I got is just a regular staple in my house. I got the Surefresh Slider Seal Heavy Duty, Heavy Duty Freezer Bags. And so I got those. 
And that's all for my Dollar Tree haul this time. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love a thumbs up. I'd also love any comments you'd like to leave me down below. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love to have you and I hope to see you again soon. Talk to you later. Bye.